What is up people, Fire here from AwesomeDudes.com and before you start with this video, just quickly, I wanted to tell you that you can go on my website here, AwesomeDudes.com and then you can go under download free assets and there you can download free assets. Now these are commercial free assets, they are not assets for this tutorial. The assets for this tutorial, this dark cave, you can find, link is in the description below so you can get them from that link. But these are other commercial free assets that you can use to develop your own games and you have 3D assets, 2D assets, backgrounds and whatnot and I keep adding new and new stuff. So you should definitely check this out and yeah, enjoy the video. Now that we have created our main menu, we need to navigate from the main menu in the gameplay menu so that we can actually play our game. But how can we do that? Well, for that we need to create a game object and I'm gonna, well, create an empty position at zero, zero and I am gonna name it main menu. So main menu controller. Inside of our scripts folder, I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna create a new folder which I'm gonna call controllers. So controllers and inside of it I'm gonna create a new C sharp script which I'm gonna call main menu controller. So main menu controller. So controller. Controller. Okay, I'm putting it here on the main menu. I like to joke a little bit when I'm lecturing that's a little bit better for you the student and me for the professor. So don't mind me singing a little bit. So I'm gonna double tap it and open it here in Mono Develop, and this is gonna be a very short script. We do not even need the start and the update function. We only need one function, which is gonna be called public void start game. Now, in order for us to load our game, we need to use scene management or to start or load another scene, we need to use scene management. And for that on top here below using Unity Engine, we need to type using Unity Engine dot scene management. So Unity Engine scene management. Did I type it right? No, I did not. It's management. Manage meant it's meant like this so scene management I think this is gonna work let me just go back here and see if everything is okay in the console because apparently something is wrong because it's not saving and whatnot anyways now that we have unity engine scene management we can simply type here scene manager so scene manager what is wrong here so this is what I was afraid so using unity engine dot scene management build successful okay so not sure what the problem is so I'm gonna cancel it here if I run the game let me just close the script and rerun it so quickly closing the script and rerunning it hoping that everything is gonna be okay now so if I type now scene manager dot, so yeah, we have now scene manager dot load scene. Finally, you see these problems happen. Don't worry about it. So using Unity Engine scene management, and now that we have that, we can type scene manager load scene, and now we pass the name of the scene. And the name of the scene is, if you go back in the scenes folder, it's called main menu. So copy that name go back in the script and paste it here because this name right here needs to match with this name right here or otherwise this is not going to work so make sure that these names match or otherwise as i said it will not work you will not be able to load your scene now how can we load our scene and why did we create this function and this script at all if you are wondering and i'm hoping that you do so why did we do that? Well, here now for the start button, in order for it to make it, well, tap or to make, to execute something when we click on it, we need to scroll down and here where it says on click, it says the list is empty. I'm gonna click on the plus sign right here and I'm gonna drag the main menu controller, but before that, attach the main menu script on the main menu controller, which is a game object. So going now on the start button, I am gonna drag here where it says, and you can see here below runtime and on click, now we have the main menu attached and now I'm gonna go here and for the function, 
I'm gonna select the main menu controller, which is the script, and go here and select the name of the function, which is start function or start game. Now, in order for us to be able to select a function here, as we did, this function needs to be public and it needs to be void. And it can take only one parameter. So that parameter can be a string, a boolean, an integer, a float. I think it can be an object. If you want to see that, you can go on Unity's documentation. And don't make a mistake to drag the actual script. So if you go here in the controller, select the button, and if you try to drag the script here like this, this will not work. So you cannot drag a script. You need to attach that script on a game object and then drag a game object here. And then from the drop down menu, you can select its script and then you can select the function that you want to be executed. So if we run the game now, what do you think will happen? If I press the start button, nothing is happening. So why is that? You see, we are trying to hit the start button, but nothing is happening. And I said that this is going to make us load our game. Well, the problem is that we need to add our scenes in the build. Every scene that you want to load, it needs to be added in the build. And we do that by going file or clicking on file here, build settings. And now when you're in the current scene, so when you are in the scene, you simply, simply click here, add open scenes. And notice now scene main menu has been added. I'm also going to go in the gameplay scene save also the main menu scene and click add open scene so that we add the gameplay scene. Now also you see these numbers here, zero and one. This is like an array. So it will determine the number here. So the number zero or the scene that's on the top, which is the first scene will be the first one to be loaded when our game is started on a device, be that a mobile device, desktop device, or a console. So the scene that is here, and you can rearrange them. So if I arrange this one below, now the gameplay scene is going to be the first scene. And if I arrange it again back, the main menu scene will be the first scene, which is denoted here by this number zero. So if I try to run the game now, and if I hit the start button, we are going to be able to go and something is wrong, actually. Let me just see what. So if I select the start button, oh yeah, this is what, I, let me just see. If I unclick, we are going to add, which is the main menu controller, going here, main menu, start game. Okay, saved. When I click here, run or start. I am a little bit confused. Let me just go in the code. Oh, uh, you can see how a simple little mistake can make you look stupid. So I'm trying to load the main menu. I'm loading the same scene. We actually need to load our gameplay. So copy the gameplay scene name and paste it here because we need to load the gameplay scene and we don't need to load the main menu because we are currently in the main menu. If I hit the run button now and click on the start and this is it. Yeah, so we are good to go. I mean, I feel stupid. I mean, I am stupid because so don't worry if some kind of mistake like this happens to you. Don't worry, as you can see, this happens to everybody. Instead of loading the main menu or excuse me, the gameplay, I try to load the main menu. So again, you need to use using Unity Engine Scene Management. And after that, you're simply gonna type scene manager, load scene and pass the name of the scene in quotes or as a string. So pass the name of the scene that you want to load. Don't do the same mistake as I did trying to load the same scene from within that scene. So this was it regarding loading our scenes and how can we do that? So the next thing that is left for us to do is to wrap up our game by adding game controllers that are going to control our game state and they will control the score, they will end the level and restart the game when the player dies. So we will see that next.